Hey, this is Scott Spears getting ready for Slamapalooza coming up on Saturday, March the 8th. We are just hours away with a 7 p.m. start time at the Steve Hogg Rec Center located at 775 North Main Street right here in Marion. Tickets are $10. You can get those at the door <laughs> or by calling 740-802-4337. Two big main events headline this program. One is Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, WWE Hall of Famer, going one-on-one -on -one with the bodyguard we found out recently of this man, Ox Baker, Mr. Hughes. That is going to be a titanic struggle. Loser of that match ends up chicken feather, Ox, uh -huh. syrup, and feathers. The other side of that big double main event coming up on Saturday, March the 8th, was to be, and I say was because we just got word recently, it was to be Bobo Brazil Jr. going one-on-one -on -one with the Butcher Beast, son of Abdullah. But due to an injury, Bobo looks to be out. Ox, your feeling on that? Well, you know, they made a big mistake. They told Bobo that Ox Baker has finally been fed up with him, and if he come to their matches, he was going to get hurt. Isn't it funny, he gets hurt the day before he's supposed to show up. Now you might believe that, folks, but I don't believe it. I believe he heard that he got Ox Baker mad. And when I get mad, it's like it happened a couple of other times. The guys never went home to their family that night. Now Bobo Jr., stay home, do up the dishes, with your wife and your grandmother, but don't show up here in Marion, Ohio, because you got me mad. And when you get the ox mad, he stops being Mr. Nice Guy and shows his true self. Ox, are you questioning the legitimacy of Bobo's injury? Who? Oh, folks, we got to think. Did he get hurt last week? Did he get hurt a couple days ago? No, he got hurt. The night before he was going to show up at this arena, because he knew that he got Ox Baker worked up, and he was going to take it out. First, I took his shoes, then I took his robe, I gave him a couple of lashes on the back. I was getting ready to really come down on him hard. Stay home, do the dishes, make babies. Whatever you have to do, just don't show up at that arena. Ox, I don't believe Bobo would fake an injury. You know he wants a piece of your hide, but beyond that, you now have no match for your butcher beast. The executive officer... We're trying to find somebody. I don't care where you dig them up. There's a wrestling school right here. These two little goofs right here. Bring one of them there. Put them against my guy. I want to knock somebody down. I want to kick somebody in the face because I love to hurt people. Little goofs? I don't think they're little goofs. You, are, Your Butcher Beast is going to have a match tomorrow night. I'll well, see who you. Who you find for him anyway? I'll find somebody. We might drag you in the ring. <sighs> I'd love to see that. I hate to get worked up. You know what I mean? I don't care if I didn't sell any pictures or any of any my cookbooks. But to find out this Bobo Jr. made up an excuse, he tripped over with one of his kids making a snowman. I've heard a lot of things in my That's the biggest lie I ever heard. He's a skirt that I might get a hold of him, and I got a hold of him. I might, oh, it's going to look me up. Okay, let's talk about the other half of that big double main event tomorrow. Tony Atlas versus Mr. You know Jr. what? I used to admire Tony Atlas. He was one of my heroes. I even cut his picture out of a couple of newspapers. But you know, in 25 years, he's never signed one contract with Ox Baker. He's never got me nose to nose and toes to toes. You know, I ain't got Bobo to beat up, but maybe Mr. USA, I got to beat somebody up, and you're the guy that never will give me a chance. Never give Ox. Sign on the dotted line, Tony Ellis. See if you're the man that everybody thinks you are. I know everybody loves you. Well, I don't. 
Are you questioning Tony Atlas's integrity? I don't think he's been running from Yox. You know, he found out a couple of weeks ago I was in a town. He got on a trip and went over to Europe. Said he wanted to learn to speak German, French, anything, but he didn't want to get in the ring. With, you know, Tony, you've never felt this hurt punch, but if you get in my way, if you sneer at me one time, I might have to hurt somebody. Is Mr. Hughes up to the challenge? All Mr. Hughes has to do is sit down and say, Ox, tell me what I can do. I'm going to tell him one thing. Ox Picker loves one thing in life. At the end of that match, I want to see your arm raised up in the air because He's been a star in the past, and he's got ex Ox Baker in his court. Oh, I get so mad at that Bobo falling over a snowman and getting hurt, so I wouldn't have to hurt him in the ring. Mr. Hughes is going to be a winner. If you're in Ox Baker's corner, you're already a winner. But if you listen to me, you'll get your hand raised. I tell you, folks, it's coming up Saturday night, less than 24 hours away. Get away Saturday. from me, Tony Alice. Don't say hello to me. Don't try to rub my head. Just stay away and you won't get hurt. Rub your head? Goodness gracious. It's coming up Saturday night, folks. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. right here in Marion, Steve Hall Rec Center, 775 North Main Street. Get your tickets at the door or by calling 740-802-4337. Arena, Tony Alice. If you get in my way, it's like I do the bugs in my house. I take my pointed shoes and I step on them. I hear their back crunch. Ah! That might happen to you. Stay out of my way. Fan appreciation night, folks. First hundred people inside the door get a free pass for Mega Moo for a free slushy or a free... And also, the most famous cookbook of all times, Ox Baker's cookbook. I'm going to give one of the fans my cookbook and a couple of the ugly girls, I might even hug some of the ugly girls. Are you done? No, I'm not done. I'm also, there's a 90-year-old woman there, and me and her are going to foxtrot and jitterbug for all the fans. It's tomorrow night, folks, March the 8th. And you watch it. Tell Tony Ed, stay out of my way. Because i got to hurt somebody tomorrow night. And thanks for coming down, Mr. Hughes. I'm going to make you a winner. I hope Tony Atlas shuts this guy up once and for all. Tomorrow night, folks.